Monty Cook is an American professional tabletop role-playing game designer and writer, best known for his work on Dungeons & Dragons. He was married to Sue Weinlein Cook, although they are now divorced. Career Role-playing Cook has been a professional game designer since 1988, working primarily on role-playing games. Much of his early work was for Iron Crown Enterprises as an editor and writer for the Role Master and Champions lines. For a time, Cook was the editor in charge of the Campaign Classics line of books for the Hero System and Role Master lines. Cook worked for Iron Crown Enterprises for four years, two as a freelancer and two as a full-time designer. During this period, Cook wrote the multi-genre setting Dark Space, a fantasy, science fiction, horror setting. Cook became the line editor for Hero System, replacing Rob Bell, who left ICE in 1990. Cook began working for TSR in 1992 as a freelancer, writing a whole slew of stuff for the old Marvel game that never came out because the game got cancelled. In 1994 Cook came to work at TSR as a game designer. Cook designed Dungeons & Dragons modules such as Labyrinth of Madness and A Paladin in Hell, and dozens of supplements to the Planescape line including the Planewalkers Handbook and Dead Gods. Cook also designed the conspiracy game Dark Matter in 1999. After TSR was purchased by Wizards of the Coast, Cook became a senior designer and was part of the team working on the D&D Games 3rd edition. Cook, Jonathan Tweet, and Skip Williams all contributed to the 3rd edition Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master's Guide, and Monster Manual, and then each designer wrote one of the books based on those contributions. Cook was proud of the work he did on the new Dungeon Master's Guide, especially after Gary Jigax gave his team feedback on the book. He said that the material in the new DMG would help him become a better DM. That was really cool and satisfying in a completion of the circle sort of way. In 2000, Cook said of his involvement with Wizards of the Coast and Dungeons and Dragons, it's a great time to be working here, because every product is big, important, and innovative. Cook also worked on Return to the Temple of Elemental Evil and the D20 Call of Cthulhu. Cook left Wizards of the Coast in 2001. Cook's Beyond the Veil was one of the later books in Atlas Games, Penumbra, line of D20 system books. Cook started a new company Millhavoc Press in 2001 as an imprint of White Wolf's Sword and Sorcery Studios, with the D20 The Book of Eldritch Might as his first product. The Book of Eldritch Might was the first commercial book published exclusively as a PDF that was released by a print publisher. It was an immediate success and has been credited with demonstrating the viability of PDF publishing within the role-playing industry. This and other early Mill Havoc products were initially released only in electronic format, though print versions of most of them have since been released by White Wolf, Inc. Mill Havoc Press worked with Fiery Dragon Productions after the latter left Sword and Sorcery in 2002, and the majority of Fiery Dragon's licenses were taken from Mill Havoc. Cook's work under the Mill Havoc banner has included Arcana Unearthed. A variant player's handbook, Arcana Unearthed is set in Cook's world of the Diamond Throne, a giant-dominated setting. He caused a controversy in mid-2004 by exclusively selling his electronic D20 material with the Drivethrep.com store, which then used only a proprietary digital rights management encrypted PDF system. He eventually succumbed to pressure from his customers to sell his products in standard PDF form, and Drivethrup has more recently done the same. In August 2006, Mill Havoc released Tolis, a campaign setting based on Monty Cook's home game that was used as the playtest campaign for the third edition D&D Designers. Shortly after the release of Tolis, which Cook has often described as the culmination of his original ambitions for Milhavik, he announced that he would be focusing on writing fiction and other unspecified forms of creative work, rather than role-playing games. For the foreseeable future, White Wolf and Goodman Games announced his final RPG books.
Monty Cook's World of Darkness, his own take on White Wolf's modern horror setting, was released at Gen Con 2007, from Goodman Games' Dungeon Crawl Classics. Number 50, Vault of the Iron Overlord, which was also targeted for the same Gen Con release. However, due to demand by fans reading his live journal and posting their desires on the Mill Havoc message boards, Monty Cook released one more RPG product in early 2008, The Book of Experimental Might. This was quickly followed by The Book of Experimental Might 2, Bloody, Bold and Resolute. Cook returned to Wizards of the Coast in 2011. On September 20, 2011, Mike Merles announced that Cook would be taking over his Legends and Lore column for the Wizards of the Coast website. In January 2012, it was revealed that Cook was to be the lead designer for the next edition of Dungeons & Dragons. In April 2012, Cook announced his departure from Wizards of the Coast due to differences of opinion with the company, but not with his fellow designers. Monty Cook Games founded in 2012 by Monty Cook and Shanna German, Monty Cook Games, LLC, is a role-playing game company that has produced new Menra, The Strange, The Cipher System Rulebook, and the forthcoming No Thank You, Evil, which went to press in fall 2015 after a Kickstarter campaign raised over $100,000 to fund its publication. Author Monty Cook is a graduate of the Clarion Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers Workshop. After graduating from the 1999 workshop, he has published the novels The Glass Prison and Of Aged Angels. He has also published short stories like Born in Secrets, The Rose Window, and A Narrowed Gaze. He also writes a continuing Call of Cthulhu fiction series, The Chandler Chronicles, in Game Trade magazine. In the non-fiction genre, Cook has written The Skeptic's Guide to Conspiracies. New Menera New Menera is a Kickstarter-funded tabletop RPG created by Cook. Set a billion years in the future in a science fantasy and post-apocalyptic setting with streamlined rules that prioritize the story, the action, and the wild ideas. It raised over $500,000. System playtesting was announced on October 30, 2012, and the game was released on August 14, 2013. Cook has stated that David Zeb Cook's Plan Escape Fantasy World was a significant influence on concepts in New Menra. New Menera was also be the setting for a 2013 release of the Thunderstone Advanced Deck Building Game by Alderac Entertainment Group, as well as the video game of Torment. Tides of New Menra, which is being developed by Inksile Entertainment and was successfully funded at $4,978,003 as of November 2015. The Strange is a Kickstarter-funded tabletop RPG created by Cook and Bruce Cordell using the same cipher system rule set as New Menra. The game, which involves traveling through different worlds known as recursions, was released in August 2014.